Christina's new at school. <gasps> Everyone thinks she's a little weird. She invited everyone for a sleepover. Only Mia and Zoe showed up. You'll never forget this sleepover. <laughs> Mia and Zoe were on their way to Christina's. Their GPS was busted. Short way. They saw two hitchhikers. Who should they pick up? Neither! The first guy's a werewolf. And the second one's a zombie. They made it to Christina's. Wow, nice! Christina gave them a tour. But they both got kind of a creepy vibe. What's wrong here? She just winked! What's wrong here? Is there someone else in this room? What's wrong here? Who just handed her the ketchup? What's wrong here? Did you see it? Christina was showing them some family photos. What a beautiful woman! That's my grand sister with her fiance. They look so happy. I love you. He poisoned her just after they took this photo. Then he drank the poison himself. No one knows why. Zoe took a closer look. Uh -huh. What did Zoe see? She'd been cheating on him. Christina's grandmother made dinner. Soup. Mushroom salad. Puffer fish. Mmm, delicacy. Octopus Brussels sprouts Which one's safe to eat? Pufferfish is crazy poisonous Only professional chefs can cook it safely Pretty sure those mushrooms are poisonous This octopus is still alive that soup must be weeks old. Gross. Brussels sprouts. Boring, but safe. The girls sat down to play Monopoly. Suddenly, the power went out. Could you go down to the basement? The fuse box is down there. I'm scared of the dark. The door slammed. Oh no! I think we're trapped. There were three doors leading out of the basement. Hungry zombies. A big fire. Exposed live wires. Which door should they choose? They should choose the third door. The power's out. Those wires are harmless. Mia and Zoe found a note on the table. Looks like the last ingredient of an antidote. For poisonous gas! Really? Oh man, it's encrypted! What ingredient should they add?
Tear of Triton. Three doors again. But this time, who knows what's behind them? The first door's locked about a dozen times. The second door says a werewolf lives here. The third door looks pretty clean. No signs. Which door is safe? There are way too many locks. Something creepy lives there for sure. Someone uses the third door regularly. No dust anywhere. The werewolf probably lives there. Better choose the second door. At least no one's been in there for a while. Good decision. The corridor led to a room. Two girls were waiting for them. I'm Christina's older sister. I'll take you back. Everyone's so worried about you. I came for the sleepover a couple of hours ago. We can find our way out together. Who should they trust? Definitely the first girl. She really looks like Christina's sister. Something's creepy about the shadow of this girl. Anyway, who dresses like that in 2020? Did you have fun? What? Really? Why don't you stay for dessert? Would you stay? Brother and sister, Seamus and Laura, sat down to eat when suddenly, boy, ah! through the door, a whole bunch of zombies, and boy, through the window, more zombies. Run, guys, run! Luckily, Seamus was an experienced monster hunter. He, like, totally knew where to hide. But what about you? Do you know which house is safest? Oh, it's not that one. There's a zombie in there. Seamus and Laura hid in the third house. Boom, barricade. Don just gotta wait for them to leave and like, uh, Laura, like, where are you? Hello, the zombies, no way, they kidnapped her. I'm coming to, ah, ah, the pain. I can smell zombies from a mile away. It's not a special skill, they just stink. Hmm, the smell was coming from a restaurant. Was that zombies or just rotten food? Either way, probably not a great restaurant. Seamus went in and... Which one's the zombie? Let's see. That's just a gross smelling fruit, but it's still just a fruit. And these are candies, not real eyes. Duh. The guy with the burger is the zombie. Seamus grabbed him and dragged him out back. Whoop wow! Hey, like, where's my sister, dude? <laughs> this zombie wasn't gonna talk. Hmm, time to persuade him. Old school. What scares a zombie? Bright light. Or maybe a hungry lion. What about being buried underground? Or being drowned a horror pirate style? So what scares a zombie? Zombies aren't afraid of light, that's vampires, duh. And lions don't eat rotten meat. Uh, hello? Zombies can just dig themselves out of the ground. Water doesn't hurt zombies, but like, imagine being down there forever. Hello, boring new phones. The zombie didn't know where Laura was. He just kept mumbling around the old witch. A witch? Yeah, like I heard she lives near here. Maybe she's got some answers. Well, bam! Seamus let the zombie go and set off. He found the witch, chilling on her doorstep. Hey, like, are you that witch? Oh, sorry, I thought you were like a hundred years older. Oh, yes, it's me, but I'm only 23. Still pretty young. Like, is the witch lying?
Look at the reflection. Definitely lying. She's a way older than 23. What chain? Ugh, nasty. Maybe you can help me. I can't get in the house. I lost my keyboard. Uh, Modern technology. Ugh, my magic's useless. My friend hit the car somewhere in the garden and she left a note. Where's the key? First you find the big tree, then you go down, then you go to the left, then you go down, then you go to the left, then you go up, and then you go to the left, then you go up, and then you go to the right. Found it! Thank you, you saved me! Hmm, you look cute. Maybe stick around, you can help me around the house. Actually, I've like, oh, always dreamed of living with you. A few hours later, Seamus woke up. Oh, the spell had worn off. Probably huge headache. Seamus looked around. Man, a lot of creepy witch stuff up in the- oh, What's that? It's Laura! 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 Of course, she was kidnapped by a vampire, not a zombie! I gotta track down this cave, man! But first, I gotta get out of here! That witch might be back soon! Seamus tried to open the front door, but it was locked. He found three other doors. Let's see. Which door should he choose? The one with toxic gas cylinders? How about the one with lightning and a thunder? And what about the big fire? So which door should he choose? All doors lead outside. And it's raining, and therefore the fire, boo! It's out in no time, he just chilled through the door. Seamus was free soon, he was at the foot of the mountain, the one from the ball! There were three caves up there, let's check it out. Boom, which one could a vampire live in? What about this one? Oh! Silver bullets? No way, vampire kryptonite! Yeah! How about this one? Way too bright. The vampire would burn up like a crisp. The second cave looks okay. Turn into a bat and squeeze through the icicles. Let's check out Seamus' ninja skills. Oh, he down and got through. He ran down the tunnel and into the cave. Oh, it's so dark. How am I going to find... Whoa, vampire bats. I'm on the right track. Whoa, elevator, Ness, but not a single button. Oh, I need a password. And what about the settings on the electrical panel? Sweet, a chart with letters and some numbers. But uh, what do they mean? All right, guys, this one's confusing. Bear with me. One and six R. Then 3 and 6 O, 2 and 5 G, 2 and 7 E, 1 and 6 R again, R O G E R. It's Roger! It's moving, I'm a genius! Seamus burst in on the vampire. Oh, the sister was there. Oh, she looking fine! Hey, I'm here, big brother to the rescue! No! Wait! You like totally hurt her, man! Hurt her? What are you talking about? I love her! You never understand anything! Uh, what's going on? Looks kind of cranky! The vampire already turned Laura into a vampire, but she seems kind of happy about it, I swear. We love each other, Seamus. I didn't know how to tell you. Like what the actual... What should Seamus do? Dun, 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 dun. Comments. Really?
What? Really?
Thank <laughs> you. 